In today's video, I'm going to compare four different 2D animation software to see which one will suit you best. So stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel. The channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation. And if that is you, welcome. You are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. Now today I am going to compare four different 2D animation software. And um, just a quick disclaimer just before I get into it. All the information that I'm going to show is or were accurate on the day of filming. Um, so maybe later on these information have changed because the software had some updates and added new features or their prices has increased or decreased. Um, so as from the recording, um, these information were accurate. Uh, so that's the first thing. And then the second thing is I'm not going to dive into detail on every little specific um, feature of every software. Otherwise, this video is going to be four hours long. Um, this is just a basic understanding of if you are looking for a new software, these are normally the things that you're going to look into. Um, so what I would recommend is after watching this video, still go to all the um, to the websites of each um um, software to find out more on additional features or add-ons because some softwares you can have add-ons um, other so softwares you can't have any add-ons um, so for me to go into every software and the add-ons that you can get like I've mentioned this video is going to be very long so this is just a, a basic um, look at the full softwares and the differences um, this, so this video is specific, specifically for those who are new to animation who wants to start out and they want to purchase a software and they don't know which one to get or maybe someone who is still new to animation but maybe they want to change and look for another software the one they're using isn't quite working for them. So maybe this video is for you. So if we go and we look at the first... Um, we look at the first thing obviously the first question we ask is the price what is the price of the software now you'll see the price difference between these softwares are quite um there's a big difference okay so the first one is cartoon animator which is 149 dollars and this one is probably the cheapest option but again um i actually wanted to say this after this video but just Again, um, all these four softwares are actually amazing software. Just because the one is cheap doesn't mean it is not a good software and you shouldn't use it. You'll also see that um, TV Paint, who is the most expensive, um, doesn't have some of the features that the other ones have. So it really depends on your need. Okay, So these are four great, great animation software. There's a lot of other ones that I could have added, but these four are, in my opinion, the four leading ones. You can add some here and there that you may differ with me, but I think the, these are the main ones. You can also add like... Um, Adobe After Effects as well, but um, yeah, I, that that is not an animation software. It is actually more for special effects, and you can animate with it. So that's why I didn't include that. These are 2D animation software. the The goal is to animate 2D animation. So, um, like I've mentioned, Cartoon Animator, one hundred and forty nine dollars. Moho, they've got a debut. They've got two different options debut is $59.99 and the pro version is $399.99 then Toon Boom have three different options and they have a rental or not rental but you pay monthly so you don't purchase it you kind of it's got a subscription model um, so maybe it's more affordable to pay monthly a small amount than paying up front a large amount so they've got um, essentials is $20 Twenty-eight dollars fifty, 
per month, Advance is $71 per month, and then they've got the Premium, which is $129.50 per month. And then finally, TV Paint, um, they've got the Standard, which is um, $585. Um, dollars fifty and the professional, which is a thousand four hundred and sixty three dollars seventy five cents so that is the price of these softwares um, now the next one I included, and the reason why I included this is it will actually have an impact on the price as well, and that is the graphics card okay so obviously um you're gonna need a graphics card to use a two d animation software so Depending on your PC, um, these specs is for PC. Um, so I'd recommend if you're using a Mac, maybe just go on the websites of these softwares. They also have the Mac version or the Mac specs. Um, so yeah, maybe just go check that out. But it's important because if you're going to purchase a software, you need to know, do I have a graphics card that can handle with it? handle the software or do I need to upgrade my graphics card as well which is going to be additional cost or maybe you want to use Toon Boom because it has a rental it's much more affordable but you don't have that graphics card you only have like with cartoon animator GTX 650 um, so now maybe now you have to think Am I going to pay $149 and I don't have to upgrade my graphics card or do I upgrade my graphics card and just pay a little every month on subscription with Toon Boom? So that's why I've included this as well. So Cartoon Animator, you need a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 650 or Radeon HD 4890 or higher. Moho, you need OpenGL 4.1 supported graphics cards. Toon Boom, you need NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060. And then with TV Paint on the website, they didn't um, have any specs on the website. Um, so I don't know what the specs are. So um, I couldn't find any information on that. Then the next one, which I believe is very important, especially if you are um, look, you're new to animation or uh, when you buy a software, you want to learn it very quickly. You don't want to struggle. So does the software, <coughs> excuse me, have great um, tutorials, okay? Now, um, Cartoon Animator, they have great tutorials on their website. And it's also, the last time I checked, it was also divided into categories. So it's much easier to find something that you're looking for. Moho also have great tutorials on their YouTube channel. Um, so Toon Boom, I went on their um, YouTube channel. I couldn't find any tutorials, so maybe um, I've missed I've missed it somehow. Um, but on their website, they have forums. I'm not a big fan of forums because you ask a, a question and then you have to wait for someone to give you an answer, and that sometimes can take days. Or they do have um, training but I don't know if it's free or not so maybe if you purchase a software you receive training I don't know but I did see on their website there are training available so whether you pay for it or not I don't know but you know I th it is just great if you just if you're working with something and you you're struggling it is just great to know there's a YouTube channel and you can quickly find a video that you need to quickly solve your problem. So Cartoon Animator and Moho is the best for that. And then TV Paint obviously also don't have any tutorials on their website. The next thing is in-app drawing. So this will also kind of affect your the price. Um, for example, with um, can the software, does it have a drawing capabilities with brushes and everything inside your inside the software so you can actually draw your characters and your scenes and backgrounds and props and everything inside the software now all of them can except for cartoon animator cartoon animator you'll have to get a third party software like a photoshop or clip studio paint or affinity designer so that will also then impact the price so you'll have to get an additional drawing software if you want to create your own characters scenes and props etc um, so 
Um, all of them have the in-app drawing capabilities except for Cartoon Animator. And then Marketplace. The reason why I added this is if you're new to animation and maybe you don't have a drawing tablet yet and you just want to get going and start animating, then the Reillusion um, with Cartoon Animator, they've got a marketplace where you can purchase characters that's already rigged, um, scenes, backgrounds, props, etc. Um, so you can actually, if you don't know how to draw, you can still animate with Cartoon Animator because you can go and purchase characters that you like um, or you don't have a drawing tablet yet, then you can still um, go to a marketplace and purchase characters. And the nice thing is you can also create your own characters, scenes and backdrops and props and sell it on the Reillusion Marketplace as well. So you can actually earn an income with a cartoon animator um, with yeah with characters you've created for cartoon animator and put it on the Reillusion marketplace so you can actually earn an income for yourself where with moho i re i remember a while back i can't remember when i remember they did had um a marketplace where you can purchase different characters i remember you can purchase some politicians and um, from the royal family as well so you could purchase some characters but I couldn't see a marketplace on their website at the moment so I don't know if they still provide that option or maybe it's moved it moved to a different website I'm not sure but on their website itself there's no marketplace where you can go and find characters, etc. And then Toon Boom and TV Paint also don't have a marketplace. Um, and then one that is not listed here, which I feel is um, also quite important. And that is, um, the can, does it have um, frame to frame animation or does it with with blocking? So what I mean with that is, do you have to rig a character inside the software and you've got a 2D puppet and you kind of block and move your animation or frame by frame, which means old school. You draw with your hand and then you next frame, you draw the image and then you can flip like the old school animation. So do you work with a puppet that you need to rig or do you have a, do you, can you draw things individually now the reason i'm saying or adding this as well is especially if you want to create special effects for example fire a bonfire or water dropping it's not something you can can draw um can create a puppet um so you're gonna need to do frame by frame animation so can the software do that from what i've uh, noticed Cartoon animator, you can't. It is everything, um, it is um, blocking. So you've got your object and you need to, you import your, if, if you want to create a fire, um, you'll have to draw everything frame by frame in another software in your third party and then import it. So you can't do frame by frame in cartoon animator. Moho, you can. Toon Boom, you also can and then TV paint you can go old school you can do your you can even draw um, on paper and it has its own scanning um, interface as well so you can scan your paper drawings into TV paint as well um, so I just thought that is also something I need to add because if you want to create like special effects water dropping or fire um, that isn't a rigged prop um, then you'll need to animate those things frame by frame. So um, I didn't add it here, but I just felt I need to add it in the video as well. So those are just the, the basic um, differences between the software. And I think it will give you a basic idea of which one to get. Like I've mentioned in the beginning of the video, what I would recommend is go to all the websites of each software and go check out all the additional um, add-ons and functions. For example, with Cartoon Animator, there are plugins that you can purchase. Then you can do mocap um, with your 2D characters. Um, 
which other softwares don't have. Um, so other softwares like TV Paint and Toon Boom, they don't have add-ons. They don't have plugins that you can purchase separately to give you more functionality. Um, so make sure you go and go to the websites if you want to learn more about the software, learn more of what you can do with the software, etc. I think this video was just to give you a basic idea of the differences and I think this will give you a great starting point. Now if you're new to animation and you want to learn animation, I do have a free video training. Um, so in the description box below, there's a link, just click there and um, yeah, you it's you'll work alongside with me and by the end of the video you would have created your very first animation and that's the best way to learn is to actually not just watch videos but to actually animate and by the end of the video you actually have animated your first um your first animation project so that's the best way to learn so if you're interested uh, it's a great starting point in the description box below there's a link just click there and you can take that free video training and i will see you guys then next week with another video so god bless and happy animating